And now the old bugaboo, the spin. In the case of an aerobatic uh, competition spin, uh, the judging standard is that while you're in this level flight portion here, you're judged by center of gravity track, and so the airplane has to be in exactly level flight. So then as you're slowing down, you have to be raising the nose at a rate that will allow you to fly in level flight, or that your center of gravity dot will be in level flight. Now, as, uh, and the common uh, problem for new people is, is that as they slow down, they're not raising the nose fast enough, and the airplane begins to sink before the spin entry happens. Now, the judging standard for the spin entry is very clear. The yaw has to, as the yaw commences, the nose is dropping, and the wingtip is dropping, and all three drop at the same time. What they don't want to see is the airplane do a hard yaw and then drop into the spin. So you need to be slowing down and waiting till the airplane is to that point where it's ready to stall, and then as the rudder goes in, that the, the yaw and the nose drop and the rolling all happen simultaneously. Now, we can see that uh, in this right triangle, it's equally on both sides of the line, so it's a 360 degrees of rotation. So if you had two of these in a row, it would be uh, a double rotation, a two-turn spin. Now, you need to stop on a heading, and you'll be judged every five degrees off if you're, uh, if you, if, that you finish off of that particular heading, off of the entry heading. The other thing is, is that in a training spin, the second that you finish with your nose on your heading, you begin uh, thinking about your pullout. In a competition spin, you need to not only stop the spin on heading, you then need to establish a vertical downline, and, and it doesn't have to have a minimum length, but the judges have to see that you've stopped the spin, converted to a vertical downline, and drawn a line of at least some length before you do your quarter loop segment to go back to level flight. So those are the judging standards. Now, one of the things that they're going to be looking for heavily is that after the spin enters, that it must yaw all the way around and then stop. What they're watching for is that if you uh, come out of the spin and then aileron the nose, the, the airplane around for the rest of the spin. And so if you stopped, say, 20 degrees early, and there's a point off for every five degrees, and then you, uh, and then you just drop the nose and then did a roll to try to get back on heading. That's going to be four points off, so you went from a ten to a six. Okay, so they must see the entry, the yaw, the pitch, and the roll start simultaneously, rotate all the way around 360 degrees uh, in uh, as you departed control flight and then finish back on heading in the spin, and then, it, then you come out of the spin exactly as you get to the heading, then you establish your nose down attitude for your downline. Now what they do allow is that as the spin is finishing, you can leave the airplane in the regular spin uh, nose down attitude, stop the spin, and then go straight to the downline, or as the airplane is rotating, it's okay to start pitching down and feeding and, and anticipating the downline as the airplane is stopping the yaw. Either way is fine. You won't be judged off of that. Okay? But then you have to establish your vertical downline. And uh, some terms that we hadn't really talked about before, you're considered negative if you're over on your back going up, and positive if you're like this on the way up. So on the way down, this would be being negative on the downline, and like this, would be being positive on the downline before you pull out. So uh, that's one of the other reasons why you want to set your trim before you start your aerobatic sequence to something faster than your looping speed. Because if it's any slower, once you get going fast after the downline here, the airplane will want to seek its trimmed airspeed and it will start to pull off the line. Yeah, I see that you're climbing, um, mm -hmm. getting enough altitude as well as yep. doing some safety turns. And in the case of a spin, you got to make sure that you look below you, not just to each side. Okay, so I'm climbing, slowing down, making some tight turns. Mm -hmm. I'm, I've lined up with the railroad, and I'm going to do a one and a quarter turn spin to the left, which okay. will then allow us to cross the railroad at a right angle. Okay, so 
And the general rule of thumb is you need at least a thousand feet to do a one turn okay. spin yeah. and do the down the required downline. Yeah. And we're at six thousand feet right now. And uh, this, the the uh, throttle's back to idle. And you watch my right hand. You can see the stick coming back slowly, maintaining altitude. Just bring the stick back. There's the buffet. Left foot forward, and we're in the spin. Now right foot, and I've over rotated, but I'm going to stick stick it forward, and I'm going to cross that road at right angles. Yeah, so that there can't be any pendulum at the bottom, so uh, you got to anticipate the, the finish of your spin and start putting in that opposite rudder before you get to the desired heading. And then you have to make sure that you establish your vertical downline afterwards. Okay, so here comes the spin again. Okay, Lining up with the road to the right. Altitude now is 5,500, climbing a little bit, getting back to the safe altitude. This time I'm going to cross the road at a right angle, and the spin will line me up with the road when we complete the one and a quarter spin to the left. Okay. So again, he's power. pulling the power, and you got to maintain your altitude, so really watch that power's, altimeter. Power's coming back. Until you're ready to sticks, enter. Sticks coming back. Got to be patient in here. Oh, we're still climbing and yeah, still climbing. And clearing, clearing and climbing, watching and waiting. Mm -hmm. Sixty-three hundred feet and eighty knots. So it's going to be right of. Put in the rudder and back stick. Stick's coming back. Coming back. There's the buffet. Left foot forward. And spinning. And over rotated again. Lined up with the road. Speed's coming back. Pull out. Lined up with the road. Stick. Power full forward. 